Prochain chef, Andrew Scheer. Thank you so merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup, thank you so much. What a race this has been. This makes a 78-day campaign look like a walk in the park. Uh, first of all, a few thank yous to my wife, Jill. I mean, there aren't enough words to describe the support that she has given me, the sacrifices I've asked her to make, and the fact that she stood by my side this entire time is the greatest honor I've ever had in my life. And my kids, Thomas, Grace, Maddie, Henry, and Mary, that's it so far. <laughs> All the sacrifices that they've made too, the fact that they've allowed me to do this, thank you to my kids. <laughs> to my amazing campaign, my supporters and volunteers, thank you. <laughs> Merci pour tout votre travail. You have all worked so tirelessly, and this win is because of your work, your efforts, your belief not just in me, but in our conservative vision for Canada. <laughs> à mon équipe de campagne, vous avez fait un travail extraordinaire, et c'est grâce à vous que cette victoire a été possible. Merci beaucoup. I want to pay a special and ask for a, a big round of applause for Maxime Bernier. A great campaign, a campaign of ideas that he believes in very fervently and has helped grow in this movement, and to all my fellow candidates. You know, these past many months have seen us crisscross the entire country, making our pitches to Canadians. It has meant time away from your families and your everyday lives. What a sacrifice this has been for all of you. I respect each and every one of you. I thank you for what you've done for the party. We have all grown because of your hard work. You have each brought your passion and what you believe in to the center stage. You have made this a campaign of ideas, and I plan to ensure that the very best of those ideas are carried on and put forward and help us win in 2019. <laughs> now, to Rana Ambrose. Arana. You know, many interim leaders, you know, might have been just content to merely just try to keep the party together and on its feet after 2015. But your stewardship of our party has been incredible these past 18 months. Our membership 
has grown. Our fundraising is strong. Our caucus is united, and you have been leading our team, holding Justin Trudeau's Liberals to account every single day, whether he shows up or not. Notre membership a augmenté. Notre financement est en bonne santé. Notre caucus est uni et tu as mené notre équipe pour que Justin Trudeau puisse rendre des comptes à chaque jour. Thank you for your leadership and for your service to our party and to Canada. Merci pour ton leadership et pour ton service, service envers tout parti et ton pays. I know that I have very big shoes to fill, Rana. Well, not physically very big, <laughs> but very stylish. <laughs> and I'd like to thank Stephen Harper. the first leader of this united and dynamic Conservative Party. A man whose leadership I enjoyed working under, and a man who will always stand tall in the Conservative movement. His principal position allowed Canada to stand tall on the world stage with our allies. And he set an example of what it is to fight for conservative values both in Canada and around the world. And to my extended family, my, my dad is here with me tonight. Unfortunately, I lost my mom through the campaign and I want to thank each and every one of you who sent your best wishes to me. I want to thank my aunts and uncles, my cousins all across the GTA are here with me tonight. Thank you for all the support you've given me as well. Maintenant, aujourd'hui, le travail commence. Nous savons que les solutions conservatrices sont les meilleures réponses aux enjeux auxquels notre parti est confronté. Pour les deux prochaines années, nous devons communiquer ces valeurs conservatrices à un plus grand nombre de Canadiens. To all Canadians from coast to coast, the next Conservative government will always be looking for new ways to make life more affordable by cutting your taxes, making it easier for the private sector to create jobs. And we will end the liberal policies that make it harder to start new businesses, make life more expensive for families, and that punish hard work and success. Au cours de la campagne, j'ai eu la chance de visiter plusieurs régions partout au Canada et ici au Québec. Que ce soit à Warwick, à Bay Saint Paul, à Saint Hyacinthe, à, Mont à Montréal ou à Québec. J'ai pu constater que mon ami Denis Lebel avait raison, les Québécois sont plus conservateurs qu'ils ne le pensent. <rires> Nos excellents résultats au Québec en 2015 sont un signe que nous pouvons faire encore mieux en 2019. Pour moi, il est essentiel que nous ayons des députés conservateurs partout au Québec, mais aussi à Montréal. Je tiens à remercier Denis pour son excellent travail. Grâce à lui, nous pouvons compter sur une équipe québécoise extraordinaire. Et, et contrairement à Justin Trudeau et les 39 autres députés libéraux, Nous allons s'occuper du Québec. Yeah! Nous sommes le parti 
qui a reconnu la nation québécoise. Et nous allons toujours travailler dans les intérêts du Québec. Nous sommes le parti des régions. On va défendre sans relâche nos travailleurs forestiers et nos producteurs agricoles. Conservatives have and always will be the party of prosperity, not envy. The party that always represents taxpayers, not connected Ottawa insiders. And we are the party that believes that there is more to society than just government. Trudeau's Liberals are so focused on photo ops and selfies that they don't care if their policies hurt and not help the middle class. Sunny ways don't pay the bills. And given what's gone on in Ottawa, I think that forecast for sunny ways was like so many other weather forecasts that we've seen. But I guess it's always sunny in the Caribbean. To my fellow Canadians, there is a better way, a system that rewards hard work and success which benefits all Canadians. As Prime Minister, I will focus on results with conservative policies that create prosperity and provide opportunities for every single Canadian. Ce sont les politiques conservatrices qui créent de la prospérité et offrent des opportunités à tous les Canadiens. I believe in fiscal responsibility when it comes to taxpayers' money, which is why I will bring us back to balanced budgets and end corporate welfare. We have to get a grip on this out-of-control spending. It's not fair to future generations of Canadians. And one of the things that has motivated me so much in this campaign is the very strong belief that I cannot allow Justin Trudeau to do the same thing to my five children that his father did to my generation. There's going to be so much work to do. The Liberal carbon tax is nothing more than a cash grab. I will repeal it. And I'll go further by scrapping the GST or HST from home heating and electricity. Because only a Liberal would think that in Canada, heating your home in the winter is a luxury. Je vais annuler la taxe sur le carbone et je vais éliminer le, la TPS ou la TVH sur les factures résidentielles d'énergie parce qu'il y a seulement un libéral qui peut penser qu'au Canada, c'est un luxe de chauffer sa maison durant l'hiver. And I will always defend the right of any province which does not want to impose Justin Trudeau's job-killing carbon tax on its people. I believe that the foundation of our democracy is the ability to have a debate about any subject. That is why I am so committed to defending free speech.
I will withhold federal grants from universities that shut down debate and can't stand different points of view. And there are threats here at home, but there are so many around the world. And I believe that radical Islamic terrorism is a threat to every single Canadian. Which is why I will recommit our Air Force to the fight against ISIS. Je crois que le terrorisme radical islamique est une menace pour tous les Canadiens. Et c'est pourquoi je vais faire en sorte que nous avions des chasses combattant l'État islamique à nouveau. Now, to all Conservatives, those who have been members for decades and those who have may just recently joined our movement, Every single kind of conservative is welcome in this party, and this party belongs to all of you. We all know what it looks like when conservatives are divided. We will not let that happen again. We win when we are united. Throughout this campaign, all the leadership candidates, and I have so much respect for each and every one of them, all the leadership candidates working independently grew this party to the biggest it's ever been in history. Now imagine what we will do when we're all working together. On ne peut pas se permettre quatre autres années avec Justin Trudeau. Canadians cannot afford four more years of Justin Trudeau. But I'm here to tell you that there is renewed hope for Canada starting today. I'm here to tell you that the pain and hardship that the Trudeau Liberals are causing Canadians is just temporary. There is hope because Conservatives are united, because we are positive, and because we are strong, and because we have principled Conservative values, and because we will all work together, tous ensemble, to win in 2019. Let's get started. Come on, Sandé maintenant. Candidates and all our members of caucus, can we all come up on stage? 